<clears throat> so, conclusions. Um, I think all of those things, which are things that I've experienced, I think they can all be applied to other situations. I think artists can very easily construct ways to, uh, to facilitate social music making as part of their touring. Um, and the benefit there is that it's a great incentive for people to come to your gig because it's, you know, it's, it's added value, basically. So there's a, there's a real value there, I think, for artists to do it. I think there's a real value for, for venues to do it. Again, uh, you can just create a kind of standard culture that after some gigs you'll have an after show session and you invite the artist to be a part of that and then your audience, your regular audience, get to know that this is something that happens at, at your venue. Um, you could even have a fixed repertoire of songs. Uh, now, I mean, one thing that occurred to me is, today is that now pretty much everyone's got a smartphone, I think. I don't know, but you know, a large proportion. Uh, very easy to do an e-book with a you know with a bunch of songs, and then if people want to join in, they've got it. You know, it's 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 very easy. Um, uh, and I think um, just well, just to, you know, just to sum up, why would we bother with all this? Uh, what, what's what's the importance of it? So, from the point of view of social music, well, I, we should bother with it because it's actually the most important thing about folk, folk music. I think I don't think. Um, I don't think the world would fall apart if there was no professional folk industry. You know, I think those of us who are lucky enough to make a living out of it would be a bit gutted. But, um, <laughs> but you know, the, it, in terms of society, is it would it be the end of the world? No, I don't think it, it would be. If social music making disappears from society, that's a really terrible thing. That's a really awful. Um, state of play because it's not just about, it's not just about music it's about community it's about and music is this wonderful uh, means of bringing communities in together um, and if we lose that from the folk scene I think we've really done a disservice to to folk music and we've taken it off into the into the wrong direction you know um, but also um, the other reason to do that do it is is because as I said before it creates this this USP for for folk music if if folk musicians can provide this extra service of, of being able to do um, social music making then a bit, you know particularly if we're, if we're talking about British musicians if, if if it becomes a thing that we are known for then one presumes foreign festivals foreign bookers are going to be interested in that because that's an interesting thing that they can buy in uh, you know, for their venues or for their festivals, and we can then sort of, as a, you know, as, as, a, as a country, as a scene, we can be sort of known for providing that. Um, but I think the main thing is that the social music is very precious and it's very fragile, and if we're not consciously trying to support it as a professional scene, um, then, then I think, you know, it, it, it could end badly. <laughs> And that's the end of the speech, so thank you very much. <laughs>